Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today in this video we are going to look at how to combine two or more CSV files together into a single file. So the first thing you have to do is you must keep all your CSV files in a single folder like this. So here I have three different CSV files and I have kept them in the folder named the heart. So now let's look at one of this particular csv file now so let's import pandas as pd and now let's take a variable name the df for data frame and pd dot read csv and in which i will read my csv file named the heart dot csv and then now let's look at the first five rows of our data and here they are in order to combine all the three csv files we need to get to the directory first so in order to do that let's import our os module and now let's take a variable named the a and in which i will use the module os so os dot list directory so it will give you all the files that are present in our directory and now let me call a and here you can see that we have three files namely the heart.csv heart2.csv and heart3.csv and now we got to access all these files so let's take a variable name the files and in which file i will take a variable file and for file in my directory a so that is I am basically accessing all the files using a for loop that are present in my directory A. And I have stored it in the variable named as the files. Now we are going to use the pythons map function which will be reading into a data frame and an iterable object which will be our files variable. So let's take a new variable name the df1 and in which i will use the concat function which will help us to merge all these three data frames and now we will use the pythons map function and now as these all files are in the format of csv we will use our read csv function from pandas so suppose if you have your files in the format of dot excel sx you can use the pandas read excel function and i have i got to map all the files that are stored in my variable files so i will pass the variable files over here and i will also ignore the index so ignore index and i will set it to true now calling our df1 function will now have all our files combined into one and now we can save our newly combined file too in order to do that we will use our two csv function so now let's take our data frame one df1 dot two csv function and in which i will pass a name so let's say it has the combined files and its extension is .csv and when we run it and now let's check our folder and here you can see that there is a new file named as the combined files which will have all these three files combined in it there are many ways to combine a multiple csv files into one and this is one way of doing it i hope you guys like this video thanks for watching like the video, leave a comment down below and let's meet in the next video.